Hello everybody, Big Brand here, and I'm going to be playing some Killing Floor. For whatever reason, the Twisted Christmas event is still running. Uh, last to check, it is not Christmas anymore. So, guess they're just a little bit behind on bringing it back to the normal game. But, whatever. Anyway, I'm going to be playing a little bit of solo. Uh, and beginner, no, no that's, that's not going to happen. Too hard. And I'm going to be playing a little bit of my favorite map here. See how far I'll actually be able to get. Maybe if we're lucky, I might even be able to kill the boss. But I guess we'll just have to see. <laughs> anyway, if nobody's played this game before, it is a zombie first-person shooter. And it is a co-op game. Uh, it is a little fun. Nothing really too incredibly scary about it, though, but it is definitely a interesting game, to say the least. At least I find it interesting. So, I've played it for quite a while, too. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and ready up there and show you guys what this game is all about. For the most part, it's straightforward. You play a sharpshooter class, which that's uh, basically a class that's just revolves around using pistols and sniper rifles and so forth. And what you just saw right there was a slow motion. There's uh, several classes in the game. So look out for me. That are actually fun to play. Actually, my favorite class to play is the Zerk, which is a melee class. And the great thing about the Berserker is whenever you cut some zombies' heads off and you get that slow motion, you can continue the slow motion for quite a long time. and I find that to be quite fun. But, anyway, um, for right now, it's pretty easy. Still. Uh, don't worry, they've always got surprises around every corner. Uh, this game is only on Steam. As far as I know, I'm pretty certain that they don't have it for consoles or anything like that. So, for any of you console gamers out there, I'm them. sorry, but Lovely unfortunately, this is not for consoles. I know, I know. It's not zombies like on uh, Call of Duty either. And I don't play Call of Duty. Unfortunately. Well, not really unfortunately. I just, I just don't like Call of Duty anymore. I used to play it, but now I don't. So, let's see here. I believe I am going to just stick with the pistol for right now until I can get the M99, Don's which is going to be the only sweetie. gun I will need. You'll need more money for that one. So, I will just continue using the 9mm for now. And Probably for another video, I will show you guys some Berserker action solo. Do a good job, and I'll be waiting. Ugh, creepy crawlies. I suppose a little bastard's jumped too. <laughs> The only thing that I wish that I would do is actually make more zombies. Because I like to actually have a challenge. And I actually like to play this game solo. It's really best to have uh, a party for this game. But personally, I, I don't care for parties too much. I can really do stuff on my own, especially on this map. Well, apparently 
now everybody knows. Cholesterol does not kill. But now he does. That, that, that's gingerbread man. Something I did not know. Right. So lesson learned. Um, just so everybody knows, cholesterol does not kill people. He does. is easy for the most part, but they do have other classes that are a little bit more difficult, like the... I'll show you real quick. <coughs> the medic, you have to heal people, which is obvious. Um, the support specialists, you have to weld doors and deal 500,000 damage. That's for my... Uh, to get to level 3. Sharpshooter, once again, headshots have to get quite a few more, as you can tell. Commando... I'm very low level on that, so it won't be too hard to get the invisible uh, people, or, well, I guess women, are the ones I have to kill. Those are stalkers, and then I have to do 100,000 damage. Clearly, I've already gone over 100,000 damage, but I have to get that as well. I have to kill 10 more. In my favorite class, which is Berserker, I have to do quite a bit more as well to get to level 5. I haven't really played the pyro too much, and demolitions is fun, but yeah. Anyways, so those are the classes, and they all have their own class-specific weapons and stuff like that. But you don't have to stay, you know, if you're playing a demolitions, you don't have to purchase only weapons that a demolitions can use. Um, and so forth. It works like that for everyone. Like, if you want to get, say, for instance, you're playing support <coughs> and you purchase a shotgun, you can also purchase, like, a uh, hand cannon or desert eagle, whatever. And it goes on. Same thing for the berserker, etc. But that's not what I'm going to be doing because you. I'm trying to get enough use. money for the M99. Which is a stupid sniper rifle. Oh, I hear and there's a stalker right easy. there. Christmas special stalker. Right. He's been out in the sun too long. might be thinking that this game is fairly easy from what it looks, but I've just played the game a lot and several custom servers which by no means easy. Hey 
this map might make it easy, but yeah, no, it's really it could just be me that makes it easy. I don't know. Oh crap, I have no idea. Well, this will be fun. I must find ammo. Oh, ammo. What do you know? 